heart of Calabar. A vibrant celebration unfolded as Tinkoriko Calabar Heritage marked its 30th anniversary on January 1st, 2024. This cultural spectacle themed Season of Sweetness not only brought joy but also showcased the profound impact the heritage has had on the community over the past three decades. The street of Calabar came alive with the rhythmic beats and colorful displays of the Tinkoriko procession. This jubilant event, a testament to the resilience and cultural richness of the region, captivated the essence of joy and continuity. Professor Imano Eyo, president of Tinkoriko Calabar Heritage, shared insight into the significance of this monumental occasion. And give money to the church. We give to the blessed village, to those who are vulnerable, to those uh, who do not have. So we have done that. And we want to clearly see how the state government is doing uh, so that we can also participate in any activity of the Beyond the vibrant entertainment, Tinkoriko has been a beacon of hope for the community, providing scholarships to registered members and contributing to the well-being of the less privileged. A rock duke, a key figure in the Tinkoriko procession, expressed gratitude for the heritage's inclusion in the Carnival Calabar calendar. For the first time since 1999, and the second time too, we decided to come out to celebrate our victory in the last election because Tinkoriko was totally in support of practice for two years back. So this one was just celebrating and uh, I've been saying a thank you, big thank you to the rest of the team for voting uh, in the For now, we are part of the Calabar Carnival calendar. So we are thankful for that in our 30th year. Tinkoriko goes beyond celebration. It serves as a platform for social advocacy. Duke highlighted their efforts to address social ills and provide a platform for the youths to express their feelings. I just want to make a of a platform for people who fly different colors to ventilate. We a platform for campus against certain social ills and also using it to serve for the youth to ventilate their feelings. Reflecting on the 30 year journey, Duke explained the simplicity of Tinkoriko, where participants don canvas shoes and jean trousers, emphasizing unity and inclusivity. However, organizing such grand events comes with financial challenges. Duke shared the cost of producing t shirts, a symbol of Team Corico identity. And the simplicity of Corico is such that you don't get initiated, you don't wear costumes, you don't wear a pair of canvas shoes. Despite the absence of politicians during this year's celebration, Duke emphasized the essence of Tinkoriko, consistency and resilience. Duke concluded by highlighting the positive impact of Tinkoriko on youths, fostering unity and reducing crime rate during the carnival season. We tried to preach against courtism, preach against uh, child trafficking is even a misnomer. We should preach against trafficking of all sorts because now they traffic adults. So child trafficking, courtism, just general violence. So we are actually trying to provide this platform and make it persevere, a platform where we come together to ventilate all our problems. As Tinkoriko draws the curtain on the 2023 carnival, it remains an integral part of the Calabar carnival calendar, continuing to engage and empower the youths while spreading the message of joy and cultural heritage. Reporting live from Calabar, this is Precious Sam for Right Honorable Oroko 2 Duke Media.